You can get it working a plow. You can get it by just asking how now. Matter of fact, I've got it now. <laughs> Today we ask three contestants who are all vying for contention for the title of Top Oz Dog. So strap yourself in, put your chair in an upright position, and in the event of an emergency, say smooth, crikey, or flat out like a lily lizard drinking as we are in Australia. Who the bloody hell are you? I understand that your grandparents grew up in the Alice. That's right, yes, they did. And what were they doing there? Uh, my grandparents were tailors and seamstresses, so they looked after the uniforms for soldiers going off to the war. In the Second World War? That's right. Well, I tell you what, that's more fair dinkum than a digger playing the didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> You are Australia's first woman, female, Muslim, wife saver. Do you want to get a technical? <laughs> <laughs> As the world. Champion of life saving. Well, let's see if you can take a dip in the deep end today and make it. <laughs> and Nathan, you're an Aboriginal presenter, actor, and filmmaker for SBS Television and NITV. Yes. Tell me, do you like playing by Australian rules? Australian rules. Well, I love playing Australian rules, but the actual Australian rules within the industry, they could do with a little bit more multiculturalism within their film and television, I feel. Well, maybe you can even up the playing field today as we move into the first round, which is called Bear Drinking Fight. <laughs> Contestants, can you please test your buggers? <laughs> <laughs> We'll move into the first round and the first question. So, contestants, please tell me, Australian champions, what does the word fair dinkum mean to you? A, is it fair go? B, is it honesty? Or C, truth? Or D, all of the above? Mecca. A. A, <laughs> incorrect. Monica. D, all of them. All of the above. That is correct. <laughs> Question number two, Australian champions, how many stars are there in the Southern Cross? Quar oh, well, 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 I'm not going to find that. Well, 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 that's spoken. Yeah. And Nathan, you've got the answer. Um, there is, I believe, six. Six is correct. <laughs> I'd like to But the is a big place. Question number three, in the movie Australia, when the character of the drover says, shut your damper hole, matey, what does he mean? Koala. Koala it is. Um, he's saying shut his pie hole pretty much. Shut <laughs> his, yeah, quiet, shut up. Shut up your face. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Question number four. What has 2,000 species of fish, 500 types of algae, and 5,000 species of starfish and sea urchins? Australian champions. Mecca. The Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is correct. <laughs> Let's sort of go down to question number six. What is a cobber? It's Monica. An old bloke. An old bloke is kind of halfway there. Uh... And that's in great. <laughs> 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 His cobber is a, a 1920s expression for mate. Moving on to question number seven. What does Qantas stand for? Australian champions. Mecca. Queensland and Northern Territory. <laughs> it looks like... Uh, Airline services? Air services. We'll give you that one. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to question number eight. Which Australian invention hung us all out to dry? Oh, quite <laughs> It's the um, clothesline. The clothesline. Hills Hoist is correct. Yeah. Which of these inventions did Australian innovate first? 
Black Fox Fight Recorder, the Owen Machine Gun, the Wine Class, or all of the above? Australian Champion! <laughs> all of the above! All of the above is correct! <laughs> and that brings us to the end of round one, but do stay tuned as we are through truth, truth in our second round. So stay tuned and look outside the box.